Let us pray. Compassionate God, thank you for giving us another day. In an earlier national crisis, President Gerald Ford bound the nation with these words, my fellow Americans, our long national nightmare is over. Our Constitution works. Our great republic is a government of laws and not of men. Here, the people rule. Let brotherly love purge our hearts of suspicion and of hate. Much earlier, President John Adams felt that Americans were engaged in the best cause that ever employed the human heart, but feared success was doubtful not for want of power or of wisdom, but of virtue. We are now engaged in a similar challenge in a new world emerging. Inspire the men and women of Congress to bend their energies, not to strengthen positions of privilege, but to the extent possible, reduce privilege in favor of the common weal. For we are a nation of laws, not men, and the responsibility of government is the benefit of all its citizens. Lord, may each American rise to our shared effort to remind ourselves that we are all responsible for the greatness of our nation and to make the sacrifices necessary to emerge better in virtue and stronger in national well-being. With your grace, O Lord, may it be so. And may everything done this day be for your greater honor and glory. Amen. Thank you, Father.